One of the most exciting times in American history was the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Nothing could have been more challenging than building a railroad from San Francisco through the mountains to Promontory, Utah. This is what I used as a template for my model railroad, and building it seemed like it was just as challenging as the real thing. Crumbling and taping newspaper to a small piece of cardboard into the shapes I wanted. Even longer was cutting, soaking, and draping the plaster cloth over the newspaper, then trying to fix the pinholes with a paintbrush. Hours and hours spent working on my labor of love. There had to be an easier and faster way of building a landscape for a model railroad. My frustration with the lack of materials available to do model railroad landscaping was what led me to the development of Flexscape. Flexscape eliminates 90% of the time and work required with plaster cloth and foam. Just one 18 by 14 piece of Flexscape will allow you to build a limitless number of shapes, contours, and sizes of mountains, hills, tunnels, and overall landscapes. Flexscape can be easily reshaped, bent, torn, glued, painted, and decorated to achieve any kind of landscape you'd like to develop. Flexscape is made from recycled paper and manufactured right here in the United States. Flexscape is so versatile it can be used with all gauges, Z through G. Although it only comes in one size, 14 by 18, it can be developed into limitless numbers of shapes and sizes and contours. For example, you can just rip it in half and right there you have two different shapes. Put it under water and wet it and you can remold it. And I'm going to wet it. Just get it wet. I'm going to wet it on the inside. I'm going to wet it on the outside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reshape it a little bit. I'm going to take the center here. I'm going to push the center out a little bit. So we reverse how that looks. Very easy to do once it's wet. And there we have something that looks totally different. So I'm just taking a regular old box and I'm going to put it over the box. And I'm just going to leave it on the box and once it dries, it will dry into that shape. Now I have this wet down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm just going to tear a piece off of here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here, over the top of this, like so. Mat it down a little bit so it's down flush to it. And then we have an entirely different looking piece. We'll let that dry in that shape. I'm just going to take and I'm just going to cut the end off of it here. Cut the other end. Uh, paper towels. And I'm just going to bend this over and let that dry. And we'll have, once we have dried, we will have a tunnel. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten this out. And we're just going to let that dry and it'll just take that shape. Here's another piece that I wetted and I basically put it over, just put it over the top of the box. And this is what you get out of it once you let it dry. Here is the piece that I put over wet, wetted and put over a roll of paper towels. And as you can see, once it dries, it dries into the shape and makes, basically makes a very nice Tunnel. Here is another piece that I wetted and I just flattened it right out just to take standard spackling paste, um, <clears throat> thin it out and just rub it on with your hand and you change the whole look of it. Using a putty knife and just putting it on and making it look a lot rougher in texture. As you can see uh, all we did was took up this piece, we cut the center out here which was indented, we flipped it around, we glued it in, glued some stuff in, we tore some uh, other pieces up and we glued them on and uh, as a consequence we have a totally different look to this piece here. If you put this piece here and then this put this piece next to it you have two totally different looking pieces uh, which you can use. I mean you can put it that way 
or you can put it this way. And with the one piece, you can make hundreds of different shapes and sizes. So in a matter of minutes, you've gone from something of this nature to finished product. So just to uh, review, uh, again, you can take this and depending on which way you put it, you can make it look entirely different. Uh, you can rip it apart pieces and glue other pieces on uh, to make a different shape. You can wet it and mold it over something and make it look entirely different. It has a tremendous amount of capability and it's very easy to work with and very forgiving. Now I'm going to take the uh, remolded uh, piece of uh, Flexscape and I'm going to paint it just with a standard Home Depot uh, gray paint. Here I have a diluted solution of uh, off-white paint. Uh, it's diluted 10 to 1. Uh, 1 teaspoon of paint, 10 teaspoons of water. And I'm going to use a rough textured sponge, real sponge, to wipe this on to the painted Flexscape to make it look like a piece of granite. Now that I've wiped the completely over the entire piece, we'll just let that dry and then we'll be able to decorate it. Just one piece of Flexscape will allow you to develop hundreds of different shapes and sizes, including tunnels, mountains, landscapes, all kinds of different shapes. And We're going to decorate the rock now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hobby tack on. Now that the glue is dried, uh, I'm just going to take a teaspoon and I'm going to take some dried pine needles and I'm just going to spread them on here because this is hobby tack and it'll just stick to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my glue gun to uh, just put some clump foliage around. I put a little, just to put a little glue on. Stick it right on. Now we're going to take some lichen, uh, which looks like manzanita, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to put some glue on it, and we're going to paste it on. Here we have some different trees. We have dark green tree, light green tree, medium green, some medium green bushes, and I'm going to put this on right now. So all you do is you just poke some holes with a nail, so it gives you some place to stick the tree in when you put the glue on it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the end of the tree and just stick it in the hole. I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom and then I'm just going to stick it in the hole. Here we have the final pieces of Flexscape completed and ready to be installed in a model railroad layout.